Hey YouTube, welcome to TCTN, the crazy troll nation of YouTube. If you are not a part of the nation, feel free to do so. I talk about crazy stuff, silly stuff. I have moments where I'm just completely delirious. There are sometimes I do have serious conversations and I do talk about various things on this channel. And so I will label the videos accordingly so you can watch what you want to watch. This video just really quick. I'm going to do a really quick just base face. It is almost 9 o'clock at night. I just got home. Why I do videos late at night? I don't know. Well, actually, I do because I just got home and I'm a little wired from Mountain Dew. And so I thought I would show real quick what I purchased during the Sephora sale, but that's a whole other video. So I'm going to do a base face, and depending on the time, I'll show you real quick what I got. For right now, chapstick. Sister's lips are dry. It's like in the low 30s outside. It is cold. I don't care what the temperature says. My skin lets me know when it's winter because <laughs> everything just goes, it just gets really dry. So I'm going to just do a really quick base face. I only have two brushes sitting here and I will show you what I'm using as I use it. I'm 49 years old. I'll be 50 next month. So this is an extremely basic face for a 50 year old woman with temperamental skin. This is how I do things. And as you see, bags, wrinkles. I do have freckles, but I like my freckles. Redness around my nose because I'm always blowing it and it's cold out so my nose is red. My chin is still whatever it's doing. I don't know. These red marks. And so yeah, so and I got a double chin here. It's half a double chin. Look, it's only like here instead of like straight across. I'm just weird and my hairline's crooked. <laughs> This is the crazy to the TCT, and if you like it, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will not miss any future uploads. So what I'm going to do, if you're my age, I feel like I'm yelling, I use the Milk Grip, the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, which my skin loves it. I like it that it's a little tacky, but it doesn't stay really tacky. And I didn't bring a tissue over here. I do have a hand towel, but it's under my little caboodle that I brung what I'm going to use out here in and hopefully I didn't forget anything all right so the hand towel that's under here I'm going to take off and wipe the primer off my hands I've taken to doing concealer before foundation this is the Sephora bright future gel serum and this is number 11.5 and butterscotch I don't know when I started doing um, concealer first, but I'm just liking how it's, it's looking under my eyes after I put the foundation on. This is the Sephora number 47 brush. This primer really does help the concealer stick. Foundation, it helps stick too, but it's something about applying the concealer first using that primer there's times, like you see the difference, and I always keep remembering after the fact to do one eye and see what difference it makes compared to the undone eye. There's been times um, when I've done this and I'm like, oh man, if I didn't put primer all over, I would just put powder on under my eyes and just go. Because I do think this evens out my skin tone like just that, with just that little bit of concealer. And then, because I didn't bring out my glass candle holder for foundation sometimes I just do one of these numbers <laughs> to put my foundation on since this is a squeeze bottle I make sure to get in the corners of my nose since there's redness under there make sure to get on my nose because that's the place I usually forget and and I don't know how much is left in here I do know it's nearing the bottom but it's like you can't see it and so I store it upside down just so whatever's in here will flow to the top. And then I will just stamp this all over. I do really like this brush. Initially I thought it was going to be too small because I have like a big face. So I have like a lot of space to cover. But it actually works really well for me, I think. Well, not that I think. For me it does work really well. And I do enjoy this brush. There was a cell... I forget which sale it was, but it was a, a special going on where if you buy a foundation, you get one of their foundation brushes half off. And this was the foundation brush that I chose. And I'm glad that I did. 
So it does take a little bit more time than using a sponge or a bigger brush, but I like the finish that it gives. Like, what do you guys think? How does that look? Compared to, I guess, four minutes ago when I started this video, how is this looking? Let me know in the comment section. I just got my hair cut. Today is Friday. I just got my hair cut yesterday. So that's why like my hairline is looking real sharp, like especially right here. And I don't like how it looks and I did brush it. And so I don't know if it's a thick patch right here or what, but it doesn't look like that in the mirror down here. But looking in my camera, it seems like it's a line, <laughs> like right there. So I'm going to try and just cover that up, but it's not working. So I'm not sure, I'm not sure what's going on with that. But anyway, this is not about my hair or, my, or the lack thereof. And so I'm, I'm digging this look. And I, I am using less foundation under my eyes since I started doing concealer first, which is great. Because sometimes it does this funky thing where the more you try to cover up um, the under eye discoloration, the worse it gets. And as you saw, I put very little foundation under there because it did really even it out to my liking but you guys let me know what you think those of you who do watch my videos okay so the foundation is done sometimes I will go back and add a little more foundation under here if it's still looking a little too dark for my liking but right now like in the mirror down here I would add a little more but looking in the camera here it's okay so we're going to take the Lancome Long Time No Shine Powder. This is not the case it came in. So don't think I'm lying to you because I'm not. And I used this to... Ooh, that was a lot of powder. <laughs> you know, I think I had dropped... Oh, you know what it was? I took the sponge out to wash it. And then I think I had knocked the container. Which caused a lot of powder to just be in this part. Which is why it's like, what is this? So that's why that's looking like that. I don't bake. Um, I don't like what it does to my under eye area because I do have this coloration under there. So I'll just put that on and then I will dust it off. A few times I did put powder underneath my eyes to catch fallout. But I didn't like how it brightened under my eyes. Because for me sometimes, because I do have under eye discoloration, the more you try to brighten it, the worse the discoloration looks. And I, I didn't like that look at all. And so unless I know I'm not going to have any fallout, which I'm finding depends on the, the brushes that I use. If I know I'm not going to have fallout and if I know I'm going to take my time, how does this look? Like I'm liking this. Looking a little bright though. And I don't know if that's the powder or not, or because I'm losing my tan. So to counterbalance that, the Fenty Cashew Powder. What was I saying? Um, I like the Fenty Cashew Powder, which is not what I was saying, because it adds, for me, I think, just enough color back into my skin without it looking like I have a lot of product on. I usually don't take it under my eyes because this, even though it says it's a translucent powder, which we know is really not, or it would just be one shade and not, I think, like eight shades. <laughs> Sometimes it adds, a little too much color for under my eyes and so I'm careful not to put it directly under my eyes and so this I think looks better just having it everywhere else except here I really forgot what I was saying oh well Fenty bronzers <laughs> by John Gal Beijing Gal somebody tell me same brush and I take the brush back and forth because I'm going to go back and forth Take it back and forth, go up and down, back and forth, 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 back and forth again, back and forth again. So that's how I do that. And then I take the Caramel QT. I really forgot what I was saying. I start out putting it in the hollows of my cheeks and then I kind of just feather it upward. And I do just the tip of the brush because this can get really dark. And so I'm careful to just put a little bit. So I just want a little definition, not a lot. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And feather it upward. And from um, Ipsy a couple months ago, the Orphra Madison Miller 
The only shading I really use is the middle one, so I really don't know how long I'm going to keep this because I don't like just having extra colors that I don't use. It's like, what's the point of the palette when if I really just wanted that color, I would just buy that one blush color. And I don't highlight anymore. Because again, when I highlight here, it makes my under eyes look darker. <laughs> to me, anyway. To me. And I'm a simple person. I just want to put something on and it look decent. Or what I consider to be decent. So that is that. Uh, am I going to do my brows? I'm going to do my brows. This is the Fenty. And sometimes, you, sometimes I don't do my brows. I'll just do this and that's it and put, a, and put a gloss on if I'm just running out for errands or something. But this is the Fenty Brow Pencil in Soft Black. The black brown one or the brown black, it was a little too red for me. I'm like, this is a reddish brown. Well, that's how it, it turned out on me. But the soft black one I like. My hair is actually dark brown and red. In the summertime, some of the red comes out, which the reds are now turning into grays, which is awesome. Seriously, I like the salt and pepper look. I really do. And I have quite a bit of gray and people in my hairstylist. I always want to say my haircut person. She's not a barber. She works in the salon. But I feel weird saying hairstylist because it's, is it a style? I don't know. And <laughs> she asked me, am I going to dye it? And I'm like, no. I just really messed that up. Y'all see that? Like I just made two separate lines. You know what I need to put the pencil up some because it was so short that it was it was stubby and going everywhere I didn't want it to go. I keep forgetting what I was saying. So I'm going to let my grays grow in. I really do like the salt and pepper look. And I'm older. Like, I'm not trying to reclaim my youth. I'm not embarrassed about my age. I tell people my age all the time. Mostly for shock value because they don't believe me. So I'm like, yep, I'm almost 50. They're like, no way. I'm like, yeah. And they're like, you look good. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm going to go gray. I'm just going to let my body do what it's going to do. My brows are never even. But if I look straight in the camera, you can't tell. And if I go like this and like that, maybe oh, they don't look so bad. And I still don't remember <laughs> what I was going to say earlier. I don't know. So this is my basic, basic just put on foundation because I feel like it or if I'm going out for a quick lunch or if I have errands to run very seldom do I do a full face just because okay so that is everything I have here I have two lippies here so I'm going to take off a little bit of that chapstick this is one of the Fenty uh lipsticks I like this color on its own and I'm only using it now because I want to try it under um, this Fenty Gloss Mermaid thighs I have used this on its own and I do think it's more of a topper and I've been saying I'm going to use it as a topper just to see and so I said you know what I will do it for this video I love this color. So that is that. And so then we're going to go in with the gloss. Mermaid's eyes. I do not like this applicator at all. And it's kind of like this. Why am I holding it up? It's almost the same color. So it may not even really show up as anything different. But we will see what it does. I wish this was a brush um, applicator. I don't know what material this is. And it's not flexible. So it doesn't like bend and follow your lip. It's like this stiff piece of hard plastic. Even though I know it's not hard plastic. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'll wash it off and try to figure it out. So that just made it shiny. It didn't really look like much. But that is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. This again is a base face for 49 
soon to be 50 year old woman with temperamental skin and bags and wrinkles and freckles and double chin and crooked hairline and all of that <laughs> so thank you guys for watching and let me know your thoughts below or, you know what is your base face like do you do a full face before you go out or do you just do something simple like this just um, concealer foundation powder brows or no brows blush bronzer which still is a lot everything but eyeshadow still a lot um but what is your base face and what do you do on a regular basis and let me know that down below and you will see me in the next video thanks guys bye